Palmarian Sun Contracting Game of the Week. Both teams got off to impressive starts last week. Now, first drive of the game is Solon's Tyler Lamer rolls left, keeps it himself, jukes a defender. That's what this kid does. Picks up a Cardinals first down. He is dangerous in the open field. Later on that same drive, Cards facing fourth down in Tiger territory. Lamer looking for Lucas Johnson, but Drake Snodgrass, Snodgrass swats that away. It's a turnover on downs. Ensuing Tigers drive, they have fourth down on Stillman six, but Byron is stuffed at the line of scrimmage, and it's another turnover on downs. So after one, we're scoreless, but Byron would find the end zone in the second quarter. Ben Carlson firing deep to Isaac Stickler, who juggles it, makes the grab, and then becomes a foot race, and good luck with that. 75 yards to the house, it's 7-0 Byron. Later in the second, now 13-0 Tigers. This time Stickler gets the handoff in the red zone, and it's another Byron score. Hello there. Byron improves to 2-0 with a 41-14 win. Joining us now on the Sports Connection Hotline is Byron coach Jeff Boyer. Jeff, the first quarter was a struggle, then things opened up in the second. What happened there that shifted things in your direction? Well, you know, you got to give a lot of credit to Stillman Valley. I think their kids came out ready to play and played physical football. Um, but we, you know, we didn't we didn't play bad. We bent a little bit on that first drive. Uh, defensively, got the ball back, and you know, we got inside the ten yard line and had a, a drive that stalled. We didn't convert on a fourth down. So, you know, that was really what happened. It kind of chewed up most of the clock in the first quarter. But our kids kind of got going after that. Now, Snowman Valley's option offense was highly effective last week at Dixon. How well did your defense handle that in this game? Defense played pretty well. You know, um, Lamer is a special player. He's real good, you know, running the option. And uh, we really had to take into account, you know, the quarterback this week. And I thought, you know, after our kids kind of got a feel for it in that, that first half or the first drive, um, our kids did a nice job defending that. Uh, when you guys in Stillman play, the first key is always the battle in the trenches. Without the benefit of breaking down the films yet, how did your guys grade out on the lines? I think our kids played pretty well. I mean, I know last week against Winnebago we were pretty explosive and we got the edge several times. Stillman was not going to allow us to do that, so we kind of had to, um, you know, pound the football at times, and uh, we kind of went back to the, you know, the old school, uh, old school Byron football ways and just uh, just pounded it. So I, I would assume initially that our offensive line played pretty well. So you've had two games now. Both have been blowouts. There are probably more of those in your future. Is there any concern about keeping your guys sharp and improving week to week when the games become lopsided? Yeah, we're going we're gonna to get some good games coming up here, though, Scott. You know, I mean, we don't, we don't want to look overlook anybody. Um, you've got Rock Falls coming up, and then we got um, Oregon after that. But, you know, North Boone week five is going to be a big one for us. You know, Genoa Kings and Dixon down the road. So we certainly have some tough games coming up, um, and we're going to have to play well. But, you know, it also gives us a chance to kind of make sure that we stay healthy and, uh, you know, our, our full go going into the playoffs. Now, Stillman Valley is such a big rival. Do you guys do anything different or special to celebrate a win over Stillman that you normally would after a victory? Not, not really. Yeah, you know, that's pretty much it is, uh, you know, enjoy it. But also at the same time, we, we talk to the kids about, you know, coming back and ready to work. We got, we got things that we need to work on. And, uh, you know, our goal is we want to stay championships. So, um, you know, that's a, that's a continuous process as far as, you know, finding, you know, what we need to improve on and getting better at it.